get in them. Pause. Y'all flat earthers gonna stop this foolishness, man. I pump this truth so hard, they call me rumpus. They said if you can't see it, you can debunk this. You presented your model now, so let me have at it. We both know it ain't proof, it's not mathematic. I have static with false prophets, it's all tragic. Your celestial your points in some positions are all magic. And your continents are all out of proportion. And this recording, there's landmass, this is distortion. You can't navigate when you're rolling to the borders. There's no ice wall, so what's holding in the waters? I'm intricately lyrical, ever this is empirical. And based on observations, the earth can only be spherical. You heard it here, sunsets, no word to spare. Is it magnification, perspective, or dirty air? You silly flirts, is real, the truth really hurts. That's why there is no flat earth model that really works. Yeah, man, y'all gonna stop being hypocritical when you say that you trust your senses. You say that the earth looks flat, therefore it is flat. It doesn't feel like the earth is moving, therefore it must be stationary. But then you change your tone when you admit that the sun looks like it's going below the horizon, yet you say that is not what's happening. When you see the sun shining, lighting up the clouds as if it's shining from below the clouds and lighting up the bottoms thereof, you say that's not what's happening. It must be a reflection. Or when you're in an airplane and you see the sun shining from below the clouds up through to your eyes on the airplane, you say, well, no, that's not what's happening. You're a liar and a hypocrite. it if you like the lyrics there in the description but let me get right into this map Ronnie and Jason bears witness that this is a projection of the standard globe model and seem to think because this is so it allows this map to have the same predictive capabilities of the standard globe model because this is supposed to be the most accurate map however if we look at this map I see problems right off the bat if we look at the lines of longitude and latitude which are coordinates in reality from the North Pole to the South Pole the lines of longitude do not make S patterns as we see on this map the lines of longitude do not make a U-turn from the North Pole to head to the South Pole. That's not how it works in reality. So if we move these lines of longitude and latitude from this map, this map is no longer accurate. These lines represent coordinates. And in aviation today, these coordinates are used to aviate the planet. And you have what is called IATA codes, which are International Air Transport Association airport codes. And these codes are in a system. And if you put these codes in a system, it gives you the coordinates of these airport locations and the distance between them. Most airports on the earth have these codes and there are websites that we can go to and put in these IATA codes and get the distances between the airports. This is necessary to accurate aviation today. All right, so I want you to just sit back and look and try to understand what I'm saying. It's simple, it's not hard. If we look at this, as I said in the rap, there's landmass distance distortion. 
You can't navigate when you roll into the borders and here's why. This is what I mean by that. If you look at starting from Macapa, Brazil, Macapa International Airport, the IATA code is MCP. If you look, you'll see it at the almost at the top of the page. It's IATA MCP. It gives the coordinates which they're on uh, Macapa Airport is on the equator. We go to Liverpool, Gabon. Is also on the equator at zero degrees. So they are virtually a straight shot from each other heading east if you're coming from Macapa. So from Macapa to Liberville is virtually a straight shot, which would be, according to these codes, 4,178 miles apart between the airports. Seven, oh, 4,178 miles apart. These yellow stars here represent a, the approximate area of the airports. I made them kind of big just so that you can clearly see what I'm looking at or what we're looking at. So along the equator, we have these two airports. Now, if we go further south to Porto Alegre, their international airport is at 29 degrees south. Their IATA code is POA. All right. We go to Cape Town International Airport, which is in South America. Their IATA code is CPT. They are 33 degrees south. They're even further south than Porto Alegre. Now, if we are seeing the distance between the, these two airports, putting in the world airport codes, we get a distance of 4,017 miles apart. That is the distance between the two airports. Okay, so if we line these two up together, we see that they are virtually very near in latitude. Okay, but one distance is further south. All right, so now I have here the yellow star down here in the gray area represents Macapa to Liberville, and the red star here represents Porto Alegre to Cape Town. We see the distance difference. In reality, the yellow stars would be further apart on this, I mean, in reality, but on this map, they're closer together. That's what I mean by landmass distance distortion. I mean what I'm showing here, but I also mean how if you look at Alaska and things of this nature on this map, they're way out of proportion. Anyway, this is a 360 degree camera showing a sun in Antarctica, 24 hour sun. Here's a video that you can check out that deals with the same issue. You would have to say, as you've said, that that is not real, it doesn't exist. Here's a webcam. This is an Australian webcam and they have multiple cameras at different stations in Antarctica that take photos every 10 minutes, some every hour, and it holds two days of footage you can review and look at. Here's an American camera. Many countries that are in Antarctica have webcams that they have set up that take pictures every 10 minutes, some every hour, and you can view footage. Here's a, a documentary on Antarctica that within the documentary shows the 24-hour sun, speaks of the 24-hour sun. Now, there are multiple documentaries showing this. You have to say that they are all fake. This is a necessary part of the flat earth belief. Everything private citizens do, like Lisa Blair, 
two years ago circumnavigating Antarctica. You have to say that that was false. There was some type of conspiracy. She didn't know what she was doing or something to the this effect. Once again, this is the same photo. Now, this is a necessary part of Flat Earth that you have to deny a lot of independent documentaries and research. Now, this is how the sun would look on this map on December 21st, which is the winter solstice for us in North America. We don't see this. The sun is traveling along the Tropic of Capricorn. We don't see the sun doing this. Huh. And if we, on the flip side, North America, the same thing, or, or not North America, but in the Northern Hemisphere, the sun on this map will be making this pattern. It would not stay along the Tropic of Cancer. You see that? That's why I say your celestial points in some positions are all magic. When you look at this Sydney Opera House and showing the Southern Celestial Point, all right, if you look at there are three continents in the south or southern hemisphere Africa if you look at the star trails we're looking at the same celestial point the same stars rotating around the same celestial point here in Chile the very big telescope in Chile is, uh, you are seeing a photo from there so on the map we once again have a problem as sean hufford brilliantly pointed out is that you would have to have at least three southern celestial points i have the red stars here representing the celestial points and you're looking in three different directions which brings up the same problem of the AE map. I don't understand. You seem, you both seem to be intelligent, but yet the basics that I just pointed out, you seem or fail to address in coming up with your model. Now, I know you say that we are living in a simulation. But you are speaking of it as if it's an arbitrary simulation and that as if there's no rule set and that you can say the sun that is 20 miles above the surface of the earth changes position as you elevate. How can you predict that? You're just making stuff up, man. You got to stop that man you gotta have some evidence for what you're saying man you just imagining things and then presenting it to people that's deception man as if it is fact and you gotta stop that man it's not good if you are saying you're representing God but I just want to say a few things that I didn't even address that are problems with this map the angular size of the sun why doesn't it change? You've never addressed that. Your Pac-Man asteroid sun deal. You don't have no evidence of this. You're just making it up. How do you address a 12-hour daylight at the equator year-round? This map doesn't support that reality. What's holding in your waters? As I said in the rap, there's no ice walls, so what's holding in the waters what's holding in your waters I never heard you address that hopefully I'll hear from you sometime in the future until then I'll see y'all next time